An electric chopper is a beneficial device for finely chopping or mincing vegetables, herbs, meat and other ingredients. Chores that would otherwise take minutes can be accomplished in just seconds. But be clear that they chop finely, rather they mince the ingredients. Do not expect the end results to look like what you see on the product listings on e-commerce sites. Instead, it would be somewhat like this. For this video, we tried out six of the top selling vegetable choppers available online. Four of them are electric choppers with power codes, while two are rechargeable ones. To find out the best option, we chopped a variety of ingredients with them in both small and large quantities. Starting with ginger, garlic, beetroot, nuts, chicken and so on. From our tests that stretched over several weeks, we found that the most important aspect that decides the chopping efficiency is the blade design and the power. Most choppers come with dual layer blades that ensure uniform chopping when you add a large quantity of ingredients. But what we noticed is that the blade at the bottom should stay as close to the base as possible. Else, it won't be able to chop finely because chopped ingredients will stay in this gap untouched by blades and unable to be processed further. The blades will simply rotate without touching the ingredients. Yet another important aspect we focused on was the after-sales service because if the blade breaks, the chopper would be practically dead. So you need it to be replaced quickly. Except for one brand, all responded to our complaint we mailed asking for replacement of a broken blade. Yet another aspect that most users may ponder over is whether to opt for a rechargeable chopper or one with a power cord. Rechargeable options come with a 30 watt motor and a low capacity of just about 250 ml. This may be enough for bachelors or those who need a chopper on the go for picnics and trekking. Otherwise, if you run a full-fledged kitchen, a chopper with power cord would be the right choice. Based on days of use chopping a variety of ingredients, our top recommendation is the Inalsa Bullet Inox Chopper. Its blade lie very close to the bottom. It has a powerful 450 watt motor and is capable of chopping soft and tough ingredients in a jiffy. The power coat measures 1.5 meter, so you can keep it at any corner of the kitchen counter without having to worry about immediate access to a power circuit. Further, the blades come with a removable guard which ensures you don't cut yourself accidentally while handling the chopper when it is not in use. Braden Chopro 2 comes in the ditto same design. Its price is also more competitive than Inalsa but their after-sales service is not that responsive. Yet another option we tried is the Instacappa Premium Chopper. While all other options have a polycarbonate power, Instacappa Premium comes with a 3 or 4 grade stainless steel bowl and blades. But what disappoints us is its garlic peeler attachment. It is made of rubber and beats the garlic cloves to peel it. But often, the cloves get crushed or remain unpeeled. It simply isn't something we would use even when you have a large quantity of garlic to peel. When you purely look at the performance of the chopper, it is pretty well capable of chopping small and large quantities of ingredients like ginger, garlic, onion, beetroot and more in just seconds. But comparatively, it vibrates a lot more than other choppers. The final option is Borosil Chef Delight. It may look similar to Inalsa, but there are a few differences which affect its performance. First of all, there is a gap of around 1 cm between the blade and the bottom. So ingredients get stuck in it and won't get chopped finely. This affects especially when you are trying to chop a small quantity of ginger or garlic finely for a dish. But when chopping larger quantities, this doesn't affect much. Its polycarbonate lid too is sometimes a hassle to open. 
Coming to the rechargeable choppers, we tried options from Brico and Instacupper. They both have 30 watt motor, 250 ml capacity and 3 prong blades. It takes about 3 to 4 hours for full charge. Once charged, Instacupper runs for just about 23 minutes while Rico runs for more than 50 minutes. But when it comes to chopping finish, Instacupper fared a lot better. Rico took more time and did not chop as finely as Instacupper. Also, Instacupper comes with a lid so the motor unit does not come in contact with the chopped ingredients, which is not the case with Rico. So you need to be more careful while cleaning to ensure that the sensitive parts of Rico doesn't come in contact with water. So that's it. Our top recommendation for electric chopper is the Inalsa Bullet Inox Chopper. And if you want a rechargeable option, you could take a look at Instacappa Mini Chopper. The links to the product and our detailed written review are provided in the description box. Do check it out. Thanks for watching and please do